welcome to this update video. I really hope you're doing good this morning and we'll be taking a look at what is going on across the Caribbean. But first, I want to direct your attention to a video I posted on my second channel. Can solar eclipses actually uh, somehow affect the hurricane season? Total solar eclipses, that is, because there's a brief period of cooling that happens. So you can go ahead and check out that video. The link is in the pinned comment down below. Now let's get on to what is happening across the Atlantic. Here we can see that there is some activity in some areas uh, dissipating frontal systems. The intertropical convergence zone, that's where trade winds of the north and south meet. Quite active in Africa, as we can see, and parts of South America as well. A couple of thunderstorms slowly turn around sections of Venezuela and Colombia. But then as we zoom into the Caribbean, much is not really happening. A few showers are loitering turn around, yes. And uh, winds are definitely going to be kicking up today in parts of the region. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall forecast. So the more colorful the map becomes, the higher the rainfall amount expected. And as we head to that bright red shade, that's up to around an inch of accumulated rainfall throughout today so we can see that for some spots in hispaniola we're seeing some yellows for sections of eastern jamaica and uh, down to parts of honduras nicaragua as well so there could be some additional downpours as we head through today especially as we head into the afternoon hours across these areas not guaranteed for everywhere so yes some showers are possible but uh, that's not to say that everywhere in jamaica for example is going to get a downpour as we head through today but it is well needed without a doubt and then as we head to puerto rico the virgin islands and through the lesser antilles much rain not expected at all maybe a passing shower or so but that chance is so minimal for the abc islands parts of northern venezuela colombia but as we head further south into those territories also for parts of the guyanas especially for guyana there may be some additional uh, substantial downpours, even some thunderstorms popping up as we head through today. For Panama, Costa Rica, the islands of San Andreas, Providencia, as well, a whole lot of rain not expected. Same story for Western Honduras, the Bay Islands, El Salvador, Guatemala, much of Belize, the Keys, and also sections of southern Mexico. And then that sort of dry pattern continues for the Cayman Islands, most of Cuba, the Bahamas, and Turks and Caicos Islands, as well as uh, much of the Florida Peninsula. Winds will be kicking up though and they have already been kicking up in, uh, for example, the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. So winds generally up to 20, maybe over 25 knots in some areas. Some of those gusts could be up to 30 knots as well. So parts of the Northern Caribbean, the vicinity of the ABC Islands uh, will gradually get a bit windier as we're going to be heading through today but it may be a little bit calmer in the east with those winds maybe up to around 10 knots or so at the most in some areas as it relates to the saharan earlier forecast for this morning there's a bit of dust that is moving through parts of northern south america and even for trinidad right there a bit of dust loitering around you may notice the haze but as we're going to be heading into tomorrow and even into monday as well that is expected to decrease in quantity however more dust is going to be approaching uh, northeastern South America, as we can see. But for the Caribbean, not so much. And so, guys, uh, that is basically what's happening right now across the region. Nothing too crazy. That frontal system is pretty weak and dissipating. But again, it could bring some uh, substantial rain to some parts of Hispaniola. And even uh, to Jamaica, there could be a few downpours. But I'll keep you guys posted on all that is happening as per usual. And tomorrow is my next countdown video leading up to the official start of hurricane season. So stick around for that. Again, you can check out my latest updates on my second channel pinned in the comments below. So I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.